Now, as part of this investigation, the Johnson County Sheriff's Department is looking at several thousand text messages on that volunteer's phone. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Zahid Arab is in Cleburne tonight with a story you'll see only on Fox. Zahid. Well, Steve, early last month, a boy borrowed his mom's cell phone to start texting the 40-year-old woman volunteer. According to police documents, days later, his mom noticed he wasn't acting quite right. So she took her phone back and she found those graphic messages, including one that said the volunteer loved her son and was willing to fight a 10-year-old girl for him. Idle swings in an empty playground mean school's out for the summer. But for the Cleburne ISD, an important lesson is only beginning after what police suspect a school workroom volunteer did at Adams Elementary. We do not know why. On May 16th, Johnson County Sheriff's deputies arrested Jeannie Ledoux on suspicion of online solicitation of a minor. According to the arrest report, investigators looked through more than 11,000 text messages between Ledoux and a 10-year-old boy at the school, all sexual in nature. While most messages are too graphic to show, police documents detail a few of them. In one case, Ledoux texted him, the reason for a condom is that so no diseases are contracted and so girls don't get pregnant. Records show she added he had nothing to worry about because he hasn't gone through puberty yet. On April 26, investigators believe Ledoux arranged the boy to have sex with another minor, a relative of hers at the same school. The boy texted that he didn't wear the condom and wanted to know if that was okay with Ledoux. It's just sick, you know? All four of Hector Lars's kids have gone to Adams as a volunteer that also works with kids. He says the allegations are upsetting. I, I was hearing the news in some other towns, and now it's happening here. I mean, and it just, it's just crazy, you know? It gets worse. Ledoux is a convicted felon, but the district's mandatory background check didn't show a 2011 drug charge. And we do not know why. We still do not know why. It, again, glitch in the system, um, in putting an error in inputting, we just do not know. Cleburne ISD says it followed all protocol before allowing Ledoux to volunteer. When we ran that check, and we keep a log of every single person we run, and if something flagged, and nothing came up. The district will now sharpen its screening process by running multiple backgrounds on all volunteers throughout the year. It's a violation of trust, the district says, won't slide. We just are going to be doing all we can to, to hopefully have this never, ever take place again. It's just a real hard thing. The district only fingerprints teachers, not volunteers. The district, district says it would be inconvenient to ask volunteers to get fingerprinted because they have to do it all the way in Dallas, and they already get, uh, give up enough of their time already. As for Ledoux, she's still in jail on a $25,000 bond. Heather? Yeah, arrested, what, May 16th and, and, and still in custody. That seems like quite a while. It is, and I asked about that. According to the sheriff's office, she, because of her prior felony, she's on parole until 2023. And they say this charge violated that, and that's why she's still in custody. Yeah, and like that dad said, it's just crazy, to say the least. All right, Zahid, live tonight. Thank you.